Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, it's 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 one of those things that it's always going to be around. It's not that we can get away from unless you go a completely different direction. But even then, some of those scales are still going to be in there. Yeah, yeah, it can strike an emotional chord, like subconsciously, I think, as well. Just the, the blues itself, whether it's slow and withdrawn, you know, like kind of like melancholic blues or rhythm and blues. Or right. It doesn't really matter. It's either going to make you dance or it's going to make you think about something or just it gives that kind of, I don't know, it has that feel to it, blues. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm a blues man all day. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, oh yeah. Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen them live. <laughs> well, what the the current one, the one with Stevie Nicks. And oh no, almost... Stevie Nicks, crikey! No, <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> crikey! Do you know, you know what I love though with you is we kind of bonded in poetry, and I can remember how you you said to me, "Oh, you might quite like." some of this music I don't even know how it came about I'm trying trying to actually remember but I think we we were just chatting and stuff and it was just like whoa <laughs> <laughs> I just went another planet <laughs> you know it was kind of well the poetry it was really important you know like we were having banter you know having real fun and it was really lovely and then it was suddenly you just shared this music and I whoa I, I didn't know <laughs> It was kind of like, I've got to share this, I can't be greedy. <laughs> I've got it all to myself, you know what I mean? It was, I had to, and I knew that Brian, you know, I call him Bonnie, but that's bad. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like, I knew he would love it, and I just thought, oh, I've got, I'll, you know, this is perfect for our show. And it just, I knew he would use it in his new, and it just kind of spirals then, doesn't it? And that's, but you can't, stuff like that is just, oh. It's, it when it when it affects you and you feel wow that's really cool but you've got to share it you've got to get out yeah, yeah. there and well thank you thank thank you both for that it's awesome oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, yeah. And by the way, you do know that Bonnie or is a dog biscuit in the UK? Yeah, I know. You don't. Well, I don't know. If you know. Oh, cool. yeah, you I do know. now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He does know. He knows to fruit that water. Fruit that water. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, then the next song we're going to get to is uh, one uh, Davey described as pretty much as a, a annoying neighbor because of the music. And this one's called Stop Banging on My Door at Grass Cutter.
And, and we're back. <laughs> That's, <laughs> yeah. That was Grass Cutter with Stop Banging on My Door. And uh, like I was just commenting uh, just before you, you played it, uh, Dave, you mentioned that was essentially about a, about a neighbor complaining. Uh, something along those lines. It was there was a number of factors, but I'm not going to go into it. It's it's all water under the bridge. But yeah, it was a it was a bad time. Bad time. So how but, nice uh, that you created a song that was so kind of emotive and meaningful, well, and what it was about something negative in a way. It's because when he picked me up for the jam on that night, we bumped into them. And it was oh, like it sent me into a little bit of a kind of inner rage and I was forming just the fact that I saw them and it was like... It, that's a beautiful it, it song, was, eh? Well, that's what happened. I, I, honestly, I, I bent his ear all the way through to the heat and the time <laughs> of the car, right about like, yeah, man, man, this is not the other got there, yeah, yeah, a few whiskeys, he started playing the acoustic and it was like, right... Yeah. So yeah, written and performed there and then yet again a whiskey a whiskey song. <laughs> I, I I love the way the guitar and your vocals enhance each other. I just I it it, it is amazing. I think it's it is so so if that's about something negative, wow, really? <laughs> yeah. Well it's a release writing lyrics and uh, yeah, yeah. like, like performing music, it is kinda like not punch in a punch bag type of release but it's very similar and it's very cathartic kind of ah, it's like breathing out mm -hmm. um, and it, it was it, Tom will tell you it was a different mood after we did it to what it had been in the lead up to it you know, <laughs> I was kind of probably thinking oh shit should I drop him back off at all he's so angry <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. He said he's never seen us in that kind of a mood <laughs> got under my skin a bit well but it was worth it. That's uh, what came out uh, of it. So yeah. Yeah. Well, life we, is full of these things. It's what you make of them. Well, it always didn't, didn't turn something like Hulk angry. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can understand if it was some kind of like death metal, like. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I actually, I find that really cool, though. That, that the story behind that was about something really negative. Because oh, it's a smooth, you know. Oh bluesy jam fab you know and it's positive to me it makes me feel good so that's a good thing isn't it because you've twisted it round and given it another direction yeah yeah indeed and thank you again for the comments i mean we never at the time we never thought we'd be like 
but he's interviewed on Dr. Bones and stuff like that. It was kind of crazy, yeah. Playing with a marble with Jackson. I mean, like, when I saw that, man, the first thing is like, man, I am so effing jealous right now. Like, I want, I want to go so bad. Because, obviously, I talked to you a bunch of times, but I just I just interviewed the Marvelous Jacks like maybe about two weeks before they made the announcement uh, for that show with you guys, and I was like, oh my god, really? Like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that's the, the whole gig would not have come about had it not been for this show, you know, had it not been for me introducing her or getting on the show, then obviously me listening when you were interviewing the Marvelous Jackson, and it kind of were connected from there. Kind of feel a little bit guilty at how the gig went. Not guilty as in we didn't do anything particularly wrong, but it was kind of we've become a rock band since the earlier stuff. Right. And they're very mellow and laid back. And oh it, yeah, it's... It was a, it's not really fair. I didn't think for us to be so loud. We were kind of we were banging when we, when we played, and then <laughs> they went on with this like really melodic, uh, almost psychedelic stuff. It was kind of. I was a, gonna say it, gigs are difficult though because you can never gauge. Doesn't matter how much promo you do, you can't. I mean, I've been to gigs, you know, and you, there's loads of promo, and there's hardly anyone there. There's little promo. There's loads of people there. It all depends on the night, the weather. You know, I mean, if it's raining, people go, oh, I'm not coming out. If right. it's sunny, I'm staying home for barbecue. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Where's the middle ground? Is it's, it? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't feel like that because I love music. So for me, I'll just go anyway. But there's a lot of people that kind of, I don't know, it seems to be like that. And I don't think you can gauge it. So I, I don't know. I remember you talking to me about it. And I, I just thought, well... It's, it's difficult, isn't it? It's, you know. You've got to put it down to experience, I suppose. And yeah. I mean, we did, we planned on playing uh, the, the song you just played, Stop Banging on My Door. We did Whiskey Blues, which we, t- we were planning on playing a few acoustic tunes, and the way it worked out at the last minute, we just said, we right, ditched them. So we went with other stuff. Because they've got other stuff from the other band, we right. merged from Tom's other band. So it was just a split. Well, you're combining. Spur the moment decision, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Learning yourselves, aren't you? It's all new, and you know, any kind of gig, you have to kind of work with what works at that moment. And if you felt that was the best way to go, then you have to go with it, don't you? Yeah, but uh, I'd have was being late with the <laughs> drum kit, and then the monitors blown just before we started playing. Oh and, shit! Yeah. There was problems, but yeah, we got we through it. it. We got through it. We got some. Uh, it was a good gig enjoyed it all right on so next up we're gonna get to the song uh that's pretty much condensed for our intro and this is the song that you and tom wrote pretty tanked so this is bean bones by grass cutter and uh-huh. might it might remind you oh, when i was talking to that. when i was talking to dave uh via either dm or email we're talking about it and he said you know what man you can name it so bean bones my name but they're awesome tunes so dig this <laughs> Pretty much so. When I finish the first verse bit, are you gonna are you gonna pause and then start playing it? You want? Because I think that'll end like the sort of second verse thing mm-hmm. straight into it. Aye. Um, but just mess about. Well, I'll tell you what. You can go straight into it, but just play the first couple as like intro to the verse, just to give us time to get me timing. Once I start singing, then obviously you go into this if the, can you do that is that all right yeah i just rather than me trying to come in fucking straight away and being told the other time isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 